we're going to be adding on views this time. So remember, basically we're going to start from the gun. So we've already got our virtual environment up and running. And let's do it. Django admin and start project main. Sweet. So there's our main project. Fantastic. Django's done something for us. LS CD main. Whoa, CD main. Clear that. All right. So now we can make our new directory apps. Excellent. So now let's go into our apps folder. CD apps. Cool. So now we can touch init. Um, under, so dunder init. Got pi. Bam. All right. So now we can go ahead and make ourselves our new project. So this is going to be the app that we're going to be working in. All right. So we're going to go python dot dot slash manage pi because manage pi is what makes apps. So we can say start app. And we're going to say v in MVC. MVC, my MVC. That's fine. So V and my MVC, because we're going to be working on the views for this little quick video. Great. Perfect. So remember the models for um, MTV, MVC, that doesn't change. Um, the views in MTV and Django is basically our controller, and the C is the templates. All right, so let's go ahead and check it out. So I went back up a directory, and now I'm sitting at main. And I'm going to start Adam up. As Adam starts, the things we're going to be doing, we're going to be adding our um, V in my MVC to our settings. We are then going to go ahead and play around with our URLs and so that a URL goes to our apps URLs. And from there, we are then going to make a view and go to our controller and then set up some templates. Awesome. All right. So going over to our settings, all right, going into install apps, we go and say, hey, let's use apps.v in my MVC. Great. That's good there. Let's say put a comma on this sucker. Cool. All right. So there's that. Let's go to our URLs. All right. We're going to get rid of this admin one because we aren't using the admin site again still. We're going to say include. We are going to include the apps dot v in my MVC dot URLs. All right, we need to have access to include over here. And perfect. Again, we don't need this either. Great. So now, in order for us to actually access this file, we need to make this file. So if we go over to apps and go into v in my MVC, we have to say, hey, let's make a new file there. New file urls dot urls dot pi great those urls that we're going to have in here those guys are going to have some of the same characteristics as our original urls all right we can just copy this on on over all right going over to our urls dot pi i don't know why all these things are open sorry about that All right, so there we go. All right, and we don't need include anymore. We can make this route go to nothing because we want to do something unique. Well, not unique. What am I talking about? We want to go to our views from, which is our controller, remember? From dot, which is going to be, and we're going to go after this file right here, dot views. So import views. We're going to go and say, hey, let's go and views dot index. Fantastic. We're going to make another route just for fun because we want to are focusing on rendering templates in this particular one. And we're going to say users. So we're going to say the regex pattern that we're going to catch starts with users and is specific to users. Fantastic. Done. All right. And views dot uh, show. Sure. All right. So now we have these two methods that we're going to have to be working with in our views. So let's go to our views and do something with them. Split this right so you can kind of keep track of things. And we'll open up views. All right. There, whoa, what's going on here? Sorry. There we go. Cool. All right, so def index takes request. And we're going to say, hey, we've already got return or render sitting up here. So let's use it. Return, render, and then we have to re 
pass request first, and then we're going to make go to where we are going to make a folder called templates, and inside that folder we're going to make another bot bin my MVC because that's kind of the Django way to do, and then index.html. All right, and we're going to make a second route and a second method that gets caught here, and we're going to do something else in here. We're going to call this thing show. Fantastic, no big deal there, and we're going to say um, let's just do um, show users.html. All right, but we're also going to say, hey, print request.method, just to show what method is actually hitting this route in this particular instance. All right, so views.show, views.show, perfect. All right, so now we have to go into vin, my MVC, and actually make our templates folder, and then inside our templates folder, make vin, my MVC as another folder, and then index.html and show H our users show users HTML. All right, so let's just go ahead and click on there, make a new file. Again, I'm just going to do the same thing I did last time, which is templates slash bin my MVC. So these folders are going to get auto get gener get auto generated, and then index.html, Bing, and we're just going to say for now we're going to say h1 and index.html, yay. All right, and then we're going to say, oh, we want another template in here. That other template we want to say is going to be called show users.html. And again, bam, and let's make another h1 here, h1, and then have it say show in users, kind of. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look and see if this thing actually works. All right, so here we are sitting at our main. So in order to turn our server back on, or on at all, we want to do Python manage pi run server. Oh, I have a D. All right, so let's see where that is. It's in urls.py um, in bin my MVC. So let's go to urls.py. Ah, uh, there's that D. Alright, so now we restarted it. Now it's working just fine. Alright, going over to localhost 8000. Yay, HTML. Alright, so now we want to check to see if our other route worked. Alright, so here's users. Okay, so what's gone on is basically when we type something in, it goes over here and looks at this first and says, oh look, anything after a caret is any any string anything can be there? It's then going to say if anything's there, we're going to go ahead and run over and cleave off anything, which in this case is nothing, um, or cleave off whatever matches, which is nothing in this case, and then go on over to our bin my MVC URLs, goes over here, and it sees nothing that first time. But what if we type in users? Let's try it and see what happens. So slash users. It automatically gets rid of the slash for us. And there it is. So showing users kind of. Perfect. What if we type in something that doesn't make sense? Um, banana or ASDF. All right. Cool. So here's what happened. It looked in these different routes and couldn't find anything. So that one didn't make sense, but this one does, right? So users make sense. Perfect. And that makes sense. Perfect. Cool. All right, so again, um, basically we've made our, at this point, we have made our model, or sorry, we have not made our model. We've made our controller, and our controller is sitting here. Our routes are sitting here, and our views are sitting in here. Okay, controller, routes, views, and the Django way is to make a subfolder with the name of the particular app. All right, again, one last time. Routes are here. They're getting caught by regex. Views are here. These are basically the same sort of things that you put in your Flask or in a Flask application under the route, but the URLs, the routes tell you where to go. So views.index, views.show. Index, show. And then return render takes three methods. The first method is request always. The second method is what you're going to render. The third method we haven't done anything with yet and that's going to be passing in a dictionary, and that dictionary is going to allow us to use 
the Django rendering template to actually pass variables, just like we did in Flask. All right, cool. 